morning, everybody. We start our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, well, I have to stick it on my back and say, kick me. Oh, okay. Jason's a post talker. That was an HR bubble. Oh, oh. Uh, so, sad thing is, I've been a lot of stuff going this week, so I was tired. So, last night we had school board, and I'm I am the uh, chair. I messed up the pledge of each Oh, nice. <laughs> that happens. I mixed it up. I'm like, oh, that's it. I got to go home. You were all back there. Recording. It was recording. I'm going to watch it. All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Washington County Commission meeting of December 21st, 2023. And in attendance, we have Chuck Nickerson, we have Taylor, we have Henry, we have Allison, Trotsky, and Coyle, myself, and the Lord. Beyond Zoom, we have the Sheriff's Department. The Party Post. So Captain Ian, the Cheryl, and that major, I believe, and then we have Jason Smith, uh, and we have Commissioner uh, Guadu from is on Zoom, and I think that's it for now. Drew Gates just popped in, so and we'll start our we'll start the meeting with the RFP opening for the Green Sand Filtration System. I move to award the proposal for green sand filtration system to Hampstead Area Water Services Company for an amount not to exceed eight hundred eighty-one thousand one hundred twenty-two dollars as recommended by the Senior Director of Facilities Planning and IT. I think I think Steve, you're on. Commissioner Gladu, you're on. You. you. Second. Hey. Right, so we had a motion in the second. Is there any discussion? Just that, uh, briefly, just that we used to uh, work with Hampstead uh, before they've been really great, and um, this is part of a early uh, discussion. If not, on the motion, Commissioner Badu? Yes. Oil? Yes. And I vote yes. We are on the agenda to approve the, uh, I'm sorry, the meeting okay. minutes for 12 Sure. I move to approve the December 14th uh, non public meeting minutes. Second. Most of the meeting seconded. Is there uh, any additions, subtractions? Yes, Commissioner Gaudu. Um, very minor, but <clears throat> should be corrected. Non public session number three, um, one, two, third paragraph. It says Senior Director Kivlowski said Attorney Bailey is not. It should said say will not. Right. I corrected it's, that. It now says is not. Yeah, that correction. Yeah, okay. good, any... good point though. Is there anything else? No. Okay. So on the motion, Commissioner Floyd. Yes. Commissioner Gadu. Yes. I vote yes. Uh, on the payroll. I move to approve the payroll expense in the amount of one million three hundred ninety eight thousand six hundred and forty two dollars and fifty six cents for the period ending December sixteenth, twenty twenty three. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Uh, if not, on the motion, Commissioner Gladu. Yes. Coyle. Yes. I vote yes. We are on to the, any reports. Any commissioner updates that any commissioner would like to talk about at this point? Seeing I, I Commissioner Coyle. Just want to wish everyone happy holidays. Um, it's really um, oh. every, <laughs> and Jason Henry of Baja Hush. <laughs> but uh, we do appreciate everybody very much and. We hope you guys all have an opportunity to spend a little time with your families and enjoy their company. Thank you for all your hard work. I'm with well, my family. family. Well, we are with our uh, thank you, Jason. family. <laughs> oh, I'm so wow. excited. <laughs> Too many candy. Jason has a lot of candy. Yeah, I know. I got a lot of candy. Full of today. <laughs> We're going to go to the Sheehan, Finney, and Gabe's letter for legal services. I move to approve the Sheehan Finney engagement to provide civil legal litigation legal services and authorize the chair to sign all necessary documents. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Uh, if not, on motion, Commissioner Coyle. Yes. Commissioner Gaudu. Yes. I vote yes. Uh, Union Resources uh, amendments to the 2024 holiday schedule. I move to approve the amended Rockingham County 2024 holiday schedule and the amended Rockingham County 2024. 
follow the schedule for county attorney and register of deeds, registry of deeds as recommended by the senior director of human resources. Second. Motion to be made and seconded. Any discussion? If not, on the motion, Commissioner Coyle? Yes. Commissioner Gaudu? Yes. And I vote yes. Request for authorization to hire above midpoint. And we move to approve the authorization for the Senior Director of Human Resources and Senior Director of Long-Term Care Services to make hiring offers above midpoint without the board approval for the established hiring grids for LNAs, MNAs, LPNs, RNs, unit managers, mm -hmm. nursing managers, personal care partners, licensed care partners, medication care partners, and wellness coordinators. Second. Second. Motion to be made and seconded. Is there any discussion? I think yeah. this just makes sense, um, given the difficulty in hiring and um, you know, we're staying within the the um, established hiring grid, so uh, it doesn't concern me as opposed to it coming before us every single time. We should go do anything. Uh, I I approve of the the move. I don't think we need to uh, be approving these. Uh, we need to hire people at the right rate, or else we won't get employees. All right. Uh, so on the motion, Commissioner Gadu. Yes. Mr. Coyle? Yes. I vote yes. Request for authorization to sign Amwin's document. I move to authorize the Senior Director of Human Resources to sign the application for a group insurance document for submission to Amwin's, updating the legal entity from Cigna Health and Life Insurance Company to Medco Containment Life Insurance Company, effective January 1st, 2024. Second. Motion to be made a second in discussion. On the motion, Commissioner Coyle? Yes. Mr. Gaudu? Yes. I vote yes. Uh, exception request 7-4 and human resources. I move to approve an exception request to personnel policy 7-4 for human resources employee KK as recommended by the senior director of human resources. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Just that this is consistent with three other uh, situations where we do the same thing. So well, on the motion, Commissioner Gadu? Yes. 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 Employee retention and engagement on the project fund. I move to approve the purchase of various gift cards as identified on the submitted listing, utilizing category 2.35 of the ARPA project funds as recommended by the senior director of human resources. Second. Motions have been made and seconded. Is there a discussion? I have a quick question. So we it's still like obviously the um we're not allowed to use money for salary or for payment of um, salaries, but it's still okay to use these for get, for retention for gift cards. This is still well within. Okay, that's okay. You can just say this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, really, this guy it doesn't is. bring them pay. Yeah. So, so on the motion, Commissioner Coyle. Yes. Commissioner Gaudu. Yes. I vote yes. Long-term care uh, adult medical daycare grant request. So we're going. I move to approve an adult medical daycare grant dated December eighth, twenty twenty three, the Silver Thorn Adult Medical Daycare Center for an additional client DR at an amount of twenty five dollars per day for three days per week, as recommended by the Senior Director of Long Term Care Services. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? If not, on the motion, Commissioner Gadu. Yes. Commissioner Coyle. Yes. And I vote yes. On site medical imaging. And lab services. I move to approve the on site medical imaging and lab services agreement beginning December 21st, 2023, for a period of three years with automatic renew every year thereafter, and authorize the chair to sign all necessary documents as recommended by the senior director of long term care services. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Just what's the opt? So, in terms of opting out, we just have to give notice if we decide not to renew on the it's automatic renewal. That's correct. We've used them um, for several years now, and uh, our IT system is integrated, our EMR system, so that we're able to receive and request x-rays uh, digitally through our medical records program. So it's a nice, smooth process. And so if, if things don't work out, we have that option. Great. Thank Early you. discussion? If not, on the motion, Commissioner Coyle? Yes. Commissioner Gaudu? Yes. And I vote yes. Um, going to go to the department heads. And we'll go to the sheriff's department first. Morning. Good morning. Uh, nothing really new to report. Just wishing everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you next week. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jason Smith. Morning. 
Sorry. Uh, good morning, commissioners. Uh, just uh, a few things. Uh, we have one staff member test positive for the flu and one staff test positive for COVID. No residents have been affected and no new cases in our assisted living community. Um, in addition to that, uh, we have had um, a community outreach program where we provided meals for seniors uh, with the Brentwood Recreation Department. Members of our leadership team went and provided education and resources about our services here uh, at our community um, with assisted living, skilled nursing, and long-term care services. Uh, some good news, we received a $50 donation uh, from a local school here in Brentwood uh, from fourth graders who want to donate uh, money to help support residents with their Christmas gifts. So we're very honored and happy with that. Um, and we had our neighborhood resident Christmas parties. So all of our residents um, received a gift and uh, a cup of cheer, uh, non-alcoholic. Uh, but uh, other than that... Um, they, they, had had a, they had a great Christmas party. Uh, thank you, Commissioners. Have hey. a good day. Thank you, Jason. I'm going to go to June. June Gates. Good morning, everyone. Um, morning. All's well in facilities. That water main leak we were dealing with last week, after three days of grueling work in the hole, the, um, the guys took care of it. They got it patched up. I will tell you that probably from North Road down to um, where the slaughterhouse used to be. That main is definitely um, tenuous. We'll be looking at probably adding it to next year's capital list or possibly adding it to um, the water main replacement work that's under ARPA. I'm working with an engineer now trying to get some, some scope on that so that I can put it out to RFP. Um, the only other thing mechanically we're dealing with a, a condensate leak in at the jail where the steam main goes into the jail we had to shut the steam main down and um, start running the boiler inside the jail and in fact we ran out of oil because it's been so long since we have burned oil in the jail um, it took us a day to get a delivery so um, the deliveries come the boiler is up and running we have oil and um, that's going well and then administratively i'm dealing with um, renewal of the groundwater management permit for the number six oil release. We have DOT, we have DES, we have, you know, all the usual keeping us busy. And um, I also wish everyone a very happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kathy Stacy. morning. Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas. We just took in a $106,500 transfer tax stamp this morning for property in Hampton. It's actually the property call, uh, the main sale on Ashbrook Ave in, in Hampton. That actually five minutes of work gave us a $42,600 commission for the county. Ooh. Life is good today in Rockingham County. Nice. Anyway, we're having our uh, potluck, how the girls brought in food for today. And um, that's pretty much it. I wish want to wish everybody a, a happy, happy Christmas. Thank you. Thank you for that. Superintendent Henry. Nope. Uh, right now, uh, sitting at 135 in the jail, which is, again, typical. We had a lot of releases right before the holidays, and nobody coming in sent it for the holidays. So. Yeah. Adult diversion, we narrowed down 10 good candidates, um, which we will start interviewing after the holiday um, for that position. One positive COVID. Um, met with commands, uh, the divisionals yesterday, I think, we are working on a plan. We're, we're at the point now we're going to take one of our units and turn it to an um, MAT unit. We have like 35 individuals on it. It's just a matter of making a special management unit and how we would um, integrate and work with them on the, the different levels. But it's going to significantly reduce the amount of time it takes us to do Medicaid-assisted treatment. Um, we've been heading down that path for a while. The numbers are now there. Um, so that's something on the radar. Uh, just a real quick, uh, I guess I can retire. Uh, you can't see it up there, but on in my chair right there is a dog in my chair. It is, is, dog? It is a comfort dog. It is um, Mason from Portsmouth PD um, oh. that uh, Ted Norm brought in. Uh, they were asked to come on in. It's a comfort dog just for staff. Uh, so he's sitting in my chair. He can take over any day he wants. Um, <laughs> and staff's loving it right now. I'm already getting, can we get a full-time one? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so he's there visiting staff today. 
Mason <laughs> came to our police commission meeting on Tuesday, and he is adorable. <laughs> he so, is doing exactly what it is. That's kind of nice though, for the staff to come around today. And he wants to come around more often yeah. and maybe be there part of our critical incident stuff when we have those kinds of things. So we're trying to make that report um, so we can do that. Yes. That's all I've got. All right. Thank you, Jason. Allison. Now, nice. first off, welcome back. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be back in person. Um, happy holidays to everyone and your families and loved ones. Um, I just we've just been busy, I've been busy catching up in the office on things, and we wanted to make sure everybody got their hats. Um, there's one group left that I have to connect in with the sheriffs on, but all the hats have been distributed to the department. So I hope they enjoy them and the weather's turned a little bit cooler, so they'll get to use them hopefully over the weekend. And it's the first day of winter. And it is the first day of yeah. winter. Thank you. So you're hoping for it to get colder. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yes, thank you. Uh, Chuck Nickerson. Um, just like everyone else, happy holidays. You know, to, to everyone across the county. Mm -hmm. um, the UKG transition continues. Um, trying to work through some snags in the pro side for payroll processing. Um, working with Allison on some draft MAUs with certain unions on different items. Um, that grant, the cybersecurity grant from NHGES um, for uh, water treatment, wastewater, did actually officially get awarded at GNC, mm -hmm. signed off on yesterday. So that's good news. That's fifty six thousand one forty, uh, and again, that's a cybersecurity for the water treatment. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's never every, mind other yeah other uh, cybersecurity items. Came out. So it's a good time after having our cybersecurity. Yes, it, it that's just right. it's great. And thank you to you yeah, and so, Emily. Well, and then Robin, and Robin, and Robin, quite a bit too. So um, let's see. Work continues on the DHHS pilot program grant. Um, we had some modifications, uh, site modifications to scope and budget, um, but there's no change in the overall total dollars, which are I think five hundred about five hundred sixty-five thousand, just for a one-year pilot program. Um, it does seem like. Um, if that goes through okay with DHHS, um, they want to move on it fairly quick because they're already talking about like who to send the DocuSign and stuff. Wow. So, Commissioner Churchill, <laughs> if you happen to get an email from DocuSign, <laughs> yeah, I'll be. I'll, I'll try to give you a heads up. I'll be on the lookout for it. I'll try to give you a heads up. That's, but I mean, it's great that we can support the. Yeah, so it would still have to go before GNC, like all right. grants. So it'd still be at next month's meeting, right. or probably the one after that. Because I think they don't but, that often. But, but still, at least we're moving in a yes. place where we're going to continue the support. Um, the HAC budget and dues for calendar year 2024 were passed unanimously uh, on Friday. So things went well with that. I think overall, each county probably saw a slightly over a thousand dollars increase on on average, but that's this first month. That Rockland County different departments, except for corrections, that'll fluctuate. Yes, the ones that have the individual assessments. Yeah. So, like each DOC of each county had an increase of uh, of five hundred because of the multitude of things being covered with that. The conference assessment, no surprise really. Right. Also went up by 500 for each county. I mean, because before in the budget, only 3,000 is budget for speakers. Mm -hmm. That will not exactly. even get your keynote. Right. Of real and just also send correctional officers to the academy also went up the, the, the fee for sending, which we've had to for years. We've talked we've talked about this 10 years ago. Yeah. So now it's just been the time because everything's gone up. So yeah. So that's gone from 500 to 750. I, I don't think anything was unreasonable. So. No, I don't think yeah. so. And we're talking, we're talking about 10 years ago. Right. <laughs> when <it's> inflation. <laughs> um, Chuck, you did such a nice job laying everything out for oh, the. Thank I you. Mean, in terms of explaining it and making it clear for everybody. Yeah. Uh, obviously, yeah. we have uh, the normal Friday meetings continue for the legislative committee. So thank you, Kathy, for and Kate for hosting those because lots of. Yeah, bills out bill. there once yeah. again. Lots of, crazy, lots of craziness out there. Well, there's even now one that's come out from the bank that's been proposed by the New Hampshire Banking Association that would essentially gut or make irrelevant the PDIP. Which is? Public deposit investment pool. Okay. Basically going to require any investments to be made essentially in New Hampshire banks. Oh, geez. So New Hampshire Bank Association wants in. My problem is that if you restrict diversification, you limit the earnings potential for members of the pool 
thereby you have a negative impact on the towns and the cities and the counties and school boards actually invest in PDIP. Right. Uh, but so just knowing the process of how things work, there are the tons of bills, but they all have airings in the house. They all get vetted pretty well. Then it goes to the Senate and it gets vetted there as well. So some of these bills, sometimes people don't think of the unintended consequences. So uh, I'm sure Kathy and Kate um, will keep their eyes out and keep us posted. If we need to chime in, we will. So, so I'm sure on that one I'll be testifying. Yeah. Plus I'm on the advisory board for the PDIP as, right. it, as it is as the NHAC rep. Okay. And just one last thing, I will be out tomorrow. It's it's a uh, wedding anniversary. So wow, I'll actually take 16. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Happy anniversary. So that's enough for me. <laughs> Layla. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, what are we doing with the meeting for next week? Do you want oh, to you want to bring that up now? So yeah, I, I do, because Monday is a holiday, and that's when yeah. the agenda so commissions are due. So let's ask really everybody. Uh, so Commissioner Coyle came up with an idea of having a very short meeting next week because a lot of people with family and the holidays or in between holidays. So if anyone, uh, if, if no one has any objections, you know, we're going to we want to do a short meeting next week. Do like an AP only yeah. or maybe a walk, maybe a non-public real quick. Does anyone have a problem with that? Does anyone have any pressing issues that need to be, get addressed before the end of the year? Everybody's okay? Okay, so that's what we'll do. Great. Anything else, Great. Lou? Um, I'll be sending out the agenda for that meeting on Friday. Okay. Great. Perhaps well, if it's day. AP only, then hopefully by and by Friday, you mean tomorrow. <laughs> so it's a fast exactly. turnaround for you. So at least it gives you, you know, we'll plan to, um, you know, we'll hopefully know if we'll have a not, I mean, non public so Yeah. yeah. Allison, yeah. 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 Okay. Anything additional? That's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you, um, everybody, for that. We're going to go to new business. Does anyone have new business at all? Um, we should go on. I don't. Okay. All right. I just want to bring up something very quickly. Um, I chimed in. I zoomed in to the Stratford County meeting, which Stratford County is trying to build a new nursing home. Um, and I, I just have, I just watched it just to see how things were going, and people were there testifying, and they they were talking up to one hundred seventy million dollars for a nursing home. There were a lot of angry people. I really have to say, in comparison, when we went through everything for our building, it was it was done in such a way that everyone had the information, the delegation had all the information, everybody was all on the same page, and it it really went smooth. But we're very fortunate here that um, you know we we have the county that we do and the, and the professionals that we do here. Um, it, it, I, I could see the difference. So I just want to bring that up and kudos to everybody, Rockingham County Department Heads, everybody. Yeah, and thank you. Yeah, you. we're doing well, bonding and stuff like that. Everyone gets that information ahead of time. As a matter of fact, that bonding was a vote of 46 to 3. I mean, it's, it was that overwhelming. Overwhelming. Yeah. And it was on the same page. And it was really, you know, you know. And a plan about the timing relative to ARPA funds and a plan, having a plan in place before we designed. So we came in, it's like, and that was, again, that's the entire team, yeah. uh, to your point. So yeah. I think it's a really um, perfect timing to make this point, Commissioner Chiricello, in terms of going into the holidays yeah. and we talk about gratitude. And I think it's really a, a, a nod to the gratitude that we as commissioners have. But I don't, if you don't mind me stepping in, no. gratitude to all of the department heads and everybody, you know, all of the staff and all your hard work that makes things work so uh, efficiently and to ultimately help yeah. the community. Right. It, all, it all feels like we're rowing, if I can do the analogy of everybody in the same boat rowing at the same time. It really is here and uh, the department has to make our jobs so much easier. Um, it feels good to be all on the same page and as a team and everything mm -hmm. and to see the results. But I just want to bring that up. And that's not disparaging Stratford County, you know, they mm -hmm. get some you know, they've got some things that they, they want to get done, and sometimes, you know, you're rowing in a different way. But uh, the year is, it's been really great. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go to, is there, I don't see anybody from the public, like in case I miss anybody, I'm just going to call it out. Anybody from the public wish to speak? I don't see anybody, so we're going to move on. Call on. 
I'm the only one in say Merry Christmas and okay. Happy Holidays. I'll give you a bottle humbug at the end. So I just want to make sure I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any non-public right now. Yeah, you got non-public. We have yeah. non-public. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. Um, one bar humbug. One bar humbug. <laughs> Um, Merry Christmas. But enjoy yes, Merry uh, Christmas. spend time with family and everything, and uh, we'll we'll see you uh, after the new year, basically. Unless you want to chime in for the the quick meeting next week, that's up to you. Yeah. Um, if we don't, Happy New Year. Yeah. And we, with that, I move to enter into non-public pursuant to 91A colon three regarding personnel matters. And I invite first. I'm going to invite Jason and Henry. Okay. Uh, and Allison. Jason Smith, is it okay if I text or call you shortly? Absolutely. Thank you. Do you want to come down or do you want to? I'll come down. Okay. I'll, come down. I'll, come down. I'll second that motion. The motion's been seconded uh, on the motion. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Commissioner Coyle? Yes. And I vote yes. Thank you, everybody. We need to go back in public and Commissioner Coyle has a motion. Yes, we uh, dealt with a number of non-public issues, uh, almost exclusively personnel matters. And I move, so I'm going to make, we had one issue with a union issue. And with respect to that union issue, I move to seal those minutes indefinitely because it could re render a proposed action ineffective. Motion to and seconded uh, on the motion, Commissioner Coyle? Yes. Commissioner Gaudu? Yes. And I vote yes. With respect to the remainder of the non-public issues we addressed today, I move to seal those minutes indefinitely because in each instance it could um, adversely affect the reputation of a person other than a member of this board. Second. Motion to be made and seconded um, on motion, Commissioner Coyle? Yes. Commissioner Gaudu? Yes. And I vote yes. Uh, and I think there's one, one more motion. motion. Yes. Okay. Move to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Steve, have a happy Christmas. I hope you feel Merry better. Christmas, Steve. Merry Christmas.